Hello everyone from Sassy's channel. How was... Were you guys playing Destiny today? We're playing some World of Warcraft. We're doing the uh, Nazoth invasion quest. Mm -hmm. Looking for faceless minions to kill, but apparently, despite being so big and bad, there's five of them on the map, apparently. Yeah. <sighs> How you doing, Sassy? Really a lot down by the lost city of Tolvir. Rob, check. booze cruise. Hello. Hey. The booze. Hold it early because you ran out of stuff to do. I know that feeling. I'm pretty good. Uh. Not much is going on. We're just uh, doing a double uh, feature of World of Warcraft this weekend. Because uh, Silly and I weren't doing uh, WoW stuff and we missed last weekend for, or not WoW, Star Wars stuff. And uh, last week, yeah. Uh, or we meet. Yeah. These are annoying, but hey, they're. Count. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Oh. Oh. So, what were you guys doing on Destiny, Rob? Did you uh, did you get all the kills? Because I told you last time that you have to actually take on the uh, enemies. It wasn't just I had to do. Isn't that the goal? The fish are correct. My foot's asleep. Not to be. I'm trying. Okay, let's go north. That bridge area tends to have some. Took the day off, got some heavy real life stuff going on. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Heavy real life stuff is such a bummer. I always seem to have some kind of shit. It's either good or it's bad. Strikes. What are strikes? Oh, I understand. Are they like dungeons, but Destiny uh, type? Baseless the spoiler. Put the force for version on Twitter. I haven't looked too much at my own Twitter recently. I kinda like story missions with the uh, with the boss at the end. Okay, so kinda like a scenario and wow. The commander has emerged. Eliminate them to end their advance. Up here. Up two. Find four more. Yeah. There's a bunch of people flying around this area. There's a dead one. Shine. Here. There's one being killed by Alliance. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, be careful. 700,000 health. Okay. Was just hanging out in the palm trees. I had to kill him. So you got tired of uh, running uh, 
strikes for today and decided to call it. That makes sense. That happens. Tonight I get to spend all night uh, fighting Shiva in FF14. Wow, you guys always fight Shiva. That's because we haven't beat her. What else are we going to do than the fight that we're working Aren't there fights before that? Uh, we've, uh, Asane already went and did Oh, why? Uh, because we told him to. Oh. Well, there's a way to, like, extend it? Uh, as long as he creates, or, uh, does the uh, dungeon, we can jump right to Shiva. We don't need anything from the other three, so... You know what I like? When people called me a tryhard. How does that make anyone a tryhard? <laughs> they're like, oh, you take reading so seriously. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, they're talking about you taking seriously, uh, your attitude when dealing with being serious. Nah, dude. Now you're, now you're stretching things. I were never the series about reading when I was there. I never wanted to do that shit. Not that it ever came up. Maybe sometime I'll be able to raid again. And I'll actually install the game. Again. Maybe. Um, You're working on your book. You're writing a book, Omega? I keep thinking about wanting to play, but then... We would run shit we didn't need Here's like one. tons of times. Get shit for people's ults. For some reason. Like, I'm pretty sure I got Dragoon gear. I don't even play that. And we got a bunch of shit for our ults on this too. It's just at this point we want to kill Shiva and we have no reason to kill the other ones anymore. Nobody wants That's any ult gear, I mean. so. No one did. When we were working on, say, uh, I don't know, shit we never beat. I don't remember ever discussing skipping anything. Pretty sure we would have had it at that point. Plus, most of the people in our group didn't really play during the week anyway. In this group, too. Yeah, I've been for a long time, just now putting pen to paper. I like the same people. Yeah, but life changes between now. <sighs> yeah, getting rid of me changes. Technically, yes, it does change. Who? Fight this dude before we. Oh, a dude. Boss. Oh, right. I'm done. I totally forgot that was a thing. Huh. And think on me. I do miss reading a lot though. I got every time I met hitting you somehow. I can see you from here. Crazy. Alright, so there's actually people here waiting. Okay, ready? Good, go. Wow, my charge. Holy crap. Death perception killed me there. You'll be lurking? Alright, well Sassy, we're almost done for today anyway. We only have about 15 minutes left to stream. But this is a really dark part of the game where we're uh, actually taking on old gods and such. Really cool. Uh, the uh, enemy, we're, enemy we're fighting is one called Nazoth. He's been, uh, people have been wanting him in the uh, game for a long time. Well, not literally this enemy. Well, not this guy. Uh, the leader of this, these forces. Take him out of 
of the center, so it's easier to fight him when you jump to the center. Oh, these people suck at doing damage. Is it just that one guy? I think it's just the one. So fighting him as melee right now blows ass. That's why I keep having to move him. I guess I'm used to being the one that has threat. What? How are you used to the one that has to be the one that's right when I'm the tank? I'm talking about, like, on pac When I'm melee. God damn it. I keep accidentally turning off my sound effects. It is done. The enemy forces are routed and in retreat. And yes, get good. Return to Ravgahan when you can. Mega, what's uh, what's your book about? You don't have to give a full plot to you, but like, give a synopsis for what you want to write. I once wrote a story about how God came to Earth and the only thing he did was smite Winter. Yeah, it was 79, or 799 pages long. No. Basically, the whole story was, uh, throughout Wintry's life, she just saw the, the sky slowly being blown up by a giant thing. And it seemed like it was just getting closer to her no matter where she was. And, and then eventually finds out it's God's thumb just squishing her. Not a bad story. Do not waste my time. I cannot believe what I am hearing. This is truly much worse than I feared. A decisive strike against their commanders should buy us some time. Thank you, warrior. I hope you found what you're looking for. We can all use help we can get in this Back fight. To your post. You may speak. While the threat has far from subsided, it is comforting to know that our enemy's reinforcements have been slowed. We may just yet survive to the battle. Our power is in our people. Ram Kahan stands with you. Are you in need? I have corruption now. The voices have stopped. The visions shown me at, da at the dawn. We will survive this day, thanks to you. Have faith in the sun. Alright, so we got a black cash here, so let's see what's in it. Yeah, malignant Leviathan's arm guard. Give me plus 15 corruption, but I gain void ritual, giving your spells and abilities a chance to increase all secondary stats by 14. Uh, sec uh, for every second for 20 seconds. This chance is increased if at least two nearby enemies also have. Alex. Yes. I have void ritual. Good, all right. That was also, th there appears to be something unusual about this particular item. Perhaps someone in the chamber can speak to its origins. How may Ram Gahan aid you? The threat has abated for now. Our scouts will continue to monitor every enemy movements. With any luck, we should be able to keep them at bay before they can make a move on the Thorge. Thank you, Blood Elves. Farewell, Traveler. Mother may have found a way to restore the Forge of Origination. Meet us at the Chamber of Heart as soon as you can! Thanks for helping me back there at the fort. It's vexing that Nazoth is able to infiltrate it so quickly, but at least we arrived in time to keep it from being over completely wrecked. Now comes the task of getting her back to 100%. Mother has been working on a solution, and we think we've got a plan. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is going to head back to the Heart of Azeroth. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're back to the Heart of Azeroth, and... Turn in these quests and get a sneak peek at what's coming up next. If you guessed Omega shitting on the floor, you were wrong. The correct answer is Pyramid shit. No. That's yeah, true. Sure. Don't don't. Look. I have four twenty four eye level now. There you go. 
Yeah, I do. What eye level is your necklace? 64. Yeah. Or 61. Mine's 475. Races are my highest animal at 440. Same. That's what you just got, bracers. Dang it. The big ass sword. It is. Micah, how do you feel about this giant sword? E man 747 thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Jump Club. We got a pretty great community, so if you want a good place to chat, this is a good place to do it. Uh, just don't talk to Wintry, because she'll make your life uh, well, less exciting than it should. What the fuck? What? It's not true. It's true. No. I think out of everybody in our lives, you fought with 99% of them. Over things that do not matter. You're back. Let's hear what Mother has to say. Yes, let's. Forge operating at reduced capacity. Recommendation: reroute power from compatible Titan facilities. All right. Point. Well, all man. of the other forges are working full time to protect Azeroth. Is there anywhere else we can get that power? Schematics indicate compatibility between Forge of Origination and Engine of Namak Shah. That's it then. Looks like we're heading to Pandaria. Hang on one second, I'll answer that question in a moment. Cries out in pain. It looks like we're in for quite an adventure, champion. The last I heard, Mogushan vaults were still abandoned. We shouldn't have too, too tough of a time reaching the engine, since we've already defeated the Mogu Guardians in that place. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get the engine turned on here. For Azeroth, I'll meet you at the entrance to the vaults, champion. Right. Speak your mind. Is there something amiss, Miro? You seem preoccupied. It seems that Nazoth's corruption has imbued this item with a considerable power. But it also comes with a considerable risk. Perhaps Mother has the possesses Until the means to terrify it. Accessing breeding database. Hello. Okay. Titanic purification terminates elements of corruption from designated object. User input required for process initiation. Do you wish to activate the Titanic purification system? Departure okay. activated. Acknowledged. There is corruption. Titanic purification system available. Farewell protocol activated. All right. And this means that you can put shit in there, but it costs you corrupted mementos to get rid of the corruption. You lose the corruption, you also lose the buff that it gives you. The corruption buffs are quite good. Alright, so that's going to be end for t today's uh, overall stream, guys. We'll pick this up next week where we left off, story-wise. Uh, but yeah, so let me... Oh. Anyway, I'm going to stop this recording.